Predator 2 Then, 1990 vs. Now, 2022. Predator 2 is a 1990 science fiction action movie casting some big names like Danny Glover and Calvin Lockhart, directed by Stephen Hawkins. It is a follow-up to the Predator debut movie from 1987. The narrative, which Jim and John Thomas wrote, introduces a new alien hunter that is now on the loose in Los Angeles. A seasoned police officer and his colleagues battle with the Predator as it decimates the city's rival gangs. A secret government task Task Force is also drawn to the Predator as it hunts it down. After 32 years of its release, let's find out how our favorite actors are doing in their lives in this then and now video. Danny Glover, then. 44 then, Danny played the role of Detective Lieutenant Michael R. Mike Harrigan, a member of the LAPD and in charge of a small unit in the Alvarado precinct. He came into contact with the Predator in the city on a sport. Harrigan specifically ran afoul of Peter Keyes and his undercover team attempting to capture the Predator. After leaving the LAPD, he ran into yet another Yaucha in Rio de Janeiro. Now, now 78, Danny has been entertaining us with blockbusters for over 35 years. He acted in super hits like Operation Dumbo Drop, The Color Purple, and Angels in the Outfield, The Last Black Man in San Francisco, Silverado, Witness, Lonesome Dove, and Jumanji. The next level all have Glover in significant supporting roles. Additionally, he received the Gene Herschelt Humanitarian Award in 2022. He has been married to Elaine Cavallario since 2009. Gary Busey, then. 46 then, Gary played the role of Peter Keyes, the leader of the OWLF team and a CIA operative. Keyes and his men were seeking to catch the city hunter while posing as a special DEA task force looking into LA's burgeoning drug battle. Keys and Detective Lieutenant Mike Harrigan's investigation into the murders committed by the city hunter didn't match. Keys was killed while attempting to subdue the predator. Now, 78 now. Gary has been married to Stephanie Sampson since 2019 and fathers two children. He is famous for playing spooky roles. Hex, 1973. My heroes have always been Cowboys, 1991. Angel's Heart as They Come, 1971. The Player, 1992. Lolly Madonna, XXX, 1973. The Last American Hero, 1973. The Magnificent Seven Ride, 1972. And Dirty Little Billy, 1972. Just got orders from Chief Heinemann. He says secure perimeter, surround building, and wait. Reuben Blades. Then, at 42, Reuben played the role of Detective Daniel Archuleta, also known as Danny Boy, who was a member of a small unit at the Alvarado Precinct of the Los Angeles Police Department. Danny shared Mike Harrigan's contempt for Peter Keyes and his federal agents because Mike was his boss and a longtime friend. Danny was morally upright and strongly committed to Mike. He was also aware of the Predator and its killings. While looking into one of the Predator's killings, the creature attacked and killed him. Now, 74 now, the actor and composer best known for films like Color of Night, 1994, Safe House, 2012, and Once Upon a Time in Mexico, 2003. Since 2006, he has been married to Luba Mason. His first union was with Lisa Lebenzon. He is a Harvard graduate holding a law degree. He also made a career in music and won a Grammy for his album, Asana. <laughs> Kevin Peter Hall, then. At 35, Kevin played the city hunter, also called Ghost, a Yaucha from the Lost Tribe that led a hunt through the city during the 1997 gang war and heat wave. A government task group, the OWLF, was trying to catch him and Detective Lieutenant Mike Harrigan eventually came to battle with him. Putting in his last trap, Harrigan killed the Predator in combat. His brethren gathered his body and transported it off the planet. Now, on April 10th, 1991, Kevin died due to AIDS, only at 36. He was married to Elena Reed Hall from 1988 till his death. He was known for his 7-foot, 2-inch tall height. He has been a part of films like Prophecy, 1979, Night Court, 1985, Monster in the Closet, 1986, Predator, 1987, Harry and the Hendersons, 1987, and Star Trek, 1989. His last appearance was in Highway to Hell as Charon. Maria Conchita Alonso, then. At 33, Maria played the role of Detective Leona Contrell, a member of a small unit in the Alvarado Precinct and a member of the Los Angeles Police Department. She was aware of the ongoing killings in the town and assisted in stopping the murders. 
predator attacked Leona while she was on the Los Angeles subway, but seeing that she was pregnant, spared her. Leona was one of the few humans to encounter the predator in Los Angeles and survive. Now 65, Maria, after immigrating to the U.S. from Venezuela, made a successful career in Hollywood. We can see her in Touch and Go, 1986, Extreme Prejudice, 1987, The Running Man, 1987, Colors, 1988, Vampire's Kiss, 1988, Predator 2, 1990, and The House of the Spirits, 1993. She won Miss Teenage World in 1975, and she was also the first runner-up in Miss Venezuela in 1975. Let me down, Mike. You're making me look bad. Robert Davy. Then, at 39, Robert played the role of Deputy Police Chief Senior Commander Phil H. Heinemann. Due to Detective Lieutenant Mike Harrigan's rash actions and refusal to submit to Peter Keyes, they frequently argued. Their friendship broke down when Heinemann was elevated in the department. However, Phil stood up for his old friend. Heinemann defended Harrigan when the Chief of Police threatened to have him fired from the force perhaps remembering their once close friendship. Now, 71 now, Robert has been married to Christine Bolster since 1990 and shares four children. He has been a part of major box office hits like Die Hard 1988, Amazon 1990, Legal Tender 1991, The Iceman 2013, Blood of Redemption 2013, The Expendables 3 2015, and Sicilian Vampire 2015. His last release, My Son Hunter, was in 2022. He is to be seen in Reagan, a film scheduled to release in 2023 as Leonid Brezhnev. Parasite must live in his car. I'll handle it. PR is my specialty. Bill Paxton. Then, at 35, Bill appeared as Detective Jerry Lampert, also known as the Lone Ranger, a member of the Los Angeles Police Department. He moved from Rampart Station to Mike Harrigan's unit at the Alvarado Precinct. Harrigan was first concerned about Jerry's reasons for wanting a transfer to such a dangerous precinct since he thought that the young officer was only looking for fame and notoriety. Still, Jerry later proved to be a solid officer and a critical team member. When the Predator attacked a Los Angeles subway train, he was slain while putting up the last fight against it. Now, at 61, Bill passed away on February 25th, 2017 from a stroke. At the time, he was married to Louis Newberry, to whom he fathered two children. He has been a part of back-to-back -back blockbuster films like Aliens 1986, Next of Kin 1989, Tombstone 1993, Navy Seals 1990, Predator 2 1990, The Terminator 1984, U571 2000, Vertical Limit 2000, and Club Dread 2004. Defensive adaptations are astounding. It's somehow able to bend light. It's the perfect camouflage. Adam Baldwin. Then, 28 then, Adam played the role of Adam Garber a CIA agent who was a part of the Peter Keyes-led OWLF unit that operated in Los Angeles in 1997. Garber, who served as Keyes' deputy, led the operation to hunt the city hunter in a slaughterhouse in Los Angeles from the team's command trailer. Only a handful of OWLF agents, including Garber, managed to escape the tragic Los Angeles mission. Later in 2022, he was slain in conflict with another Yautja. Now, now 60. The star has been married to Amy Julius since 1988 and has three children. He is famous for playing intimidating tough guys. He also worked as a voiceover artist in the 2001 Justice League, providing a voice for Hal Jordan and the Silver Age Green Lantern. He appeared in films like Bad Guys, Next of Kin, Reckless, The Right Temptation, Betrayal, Pursuit of Happiness 2001, and Superman, Doomsday 2007. His recent release was in 2021, America Underdog as Terry Allen. Mr. Mayor, on vacation in your home in Lake Tahoe. Get off your butt, get down here. Morton Downey Jr. Then, at 57, Morton appeared as Anthony, Tony Pope, who worked at the Hardcore, the news program covering the growing gang violence in Los Angeles in 1997. He unintentionally started reporting on the bloody rampage carried out by the city hunter, referring to it on Pope's show as merely the crazy vigilante. He relentlessly pestered Harrigan for answers, ignoring that Harrigan's teammates lost their lives and suffered. Now, Morton passed away from lung cancer on March 12, 2001 at 68. He had a dynamic personality and excelled as a composer, author, actor, and singer. He appeared in Born Again 1978, Monsters 1991, Tales from the Crypt 1990, Legal Tender 1992, 
Meet Wally Sparks, 1997, and The Silencer, 1992. Morton also hosted talk shows like Trash TV and The Morton Downey Jr. Show. He was married to Lori Krebs from 1993 until his death. Sit down for a week. We're not winning this war. As much as it's gonna piss you off, you're gonna have to play the game. Kent McCord. Then, at 48, Kent played the role of Captain B. Pilgrim, who oversaw the Los Angeles Police Department's Alvarado Precinct. Consequently, he served as Detective Lieutenant Mike Harrigan's direct superior. Pilgrim defended Harrigan's arrest. When the lieutenant informed Harrigan that Jerry Lampert was not present, she sent the lieutenant on his own through the tunnel to look for him. He apologized but said he had no option when giving Peter Keyes and his guys the command to postpone the drug trafficking probe. Now, now 80, he began his acting career in 1965 after signing a contract with Universal Pictures. He secured his first role in Adam 12 in 1968. The star had been married to Cynthia Lee Dottie since 1963 and has three children. His other credits are Dragnet 1967, DA Bad 1971, and Emergency 1972. Kent also won the Screen Actors Guild's prestige Ralph Morgan Award in June 1999. He raised funds while being a celebrity all-star basketball team member.